we again got an international recognition for this service. So this is Life for a Child program run by IDF, International Diabetes Federation. On their websites, we have got our uh, representation for our IML program, which is Insulin for My, Insulin My Life program. This is Graham Oogley, you can see, from Australia, who works with Martin Schilling for this Life for a Child program. We are now embarking into genetic studies for type 1 diabetes with Sudan, Bangladesh, Azerbaijan, and Mali. This is a recent work we have started, Diabetes Registry of Pakistan. Diabetes Registry of Pakistan. And we starting with drop one, which is type one diabetes. You can imagine that to develop a diabetes registry no. for type two is not an easy job, and it will be very difficult, especially in our part where there is no good public health infrastructure. But it will be drop two, which is another phase. We are also going to then establish registries for gestational diabetes, foot, and Ramadan. Drop 1 has been initiated, which is Type 1 Diabetes Registry in Pakistan. 50 centers, primary, secondary, and tertiary have already started to share data with us. We have developed an online registry portal. We are expecting to have around the data of 4,000 Type 1 diabetics when we are going to present in, in forthcoming IDF in Abu Dhabi in December. Uh, many big centers and associations like Diabetic Association of Pakistan, Pakistan Endocrine Society, National Association for Diabetes Educators of Pakistan, and then institutes like NICH, which is National Institute of Child Health, and Bakar University, Khan University are already on board for this Type 1 registry. Next part is capacity building. When you prioritize your strategies, you need to train staff, doctors, paramedics, into diabetes care. 17 years, we have been running a diploma in diabetes for family physicians. We are firm believers that for managing diabetes in any part of the world, may it be developed or developing world, we need family physicians trained in diabetes. So we came up with this concept that there shall be a diploma for diabetes so that primary care setups are specialized diabetes clinics in primary setup at the grassroots level. We have completed 17 batches so far, have trained more than 400 doctors. We then realized that this one year, or now it's two year, two year diploma may not be feasible for all the family physicians. We need more family physicians. So we have started certificate courses, online certificate courses for family physicians. Our College of Physicians and Surgeons, which is our secondary or tertiary care training center, have recognized diabetes and endocrine as a specialist training now. And six centers, in fact, now it's eight centers, are recognized for doing a specialist training. So like FCPS in medicine, and then they go for two-year FCPS training in diabetes and endocrine. What we are saying is that for people with diabetes, we not only need doctors, we need diabetes care nurses, dietitians, diabetes foot care assistants, diabetes educators, etc., etc., and we are running courses for all these departments. We also need other colleagues. In fact, for diabetes, cardiologists, ophthalmologists, nephrologists, gynecologists, all are part of the multidisciplinary team, one way or the other. In fact, I've written, you just name it, and it ought to be there as part of the diabetes team. Also to be realized is that we need multiple stakeholders public health forums, media, pharma industry, donors and philanthropy, politicians, policy makers, when we have to talk of diabetes care nationwide for millions of people as we are facing. So we developed this Diabetes Leadership Forum, including the Ministry of Health of Pakistan, World Diabetes Foundation, International Diabetes Federation, 
Diabetic Association of Pakistan and many other associations. We started this forum in March 2014. Now this forum is working on provincial levels. In Pakistan, the health now is devoluted to provincial levels. So we are having provincial diabetes leadership forums developed one by one. CFM, caring for well-being.